Okay, I'm going to show you something which has genuinely impressed me. So, uh, you get these uh, power line Ethernet uh, kits uh, with uh, Viasat uh, satellite boxes. They're made by Netgear, uh, some model number of the other. I don't know the actual uh, product this is, uh, say for the look of it and the Viasat branding there. But it's got a two port uh, 100 megabit Ethernet hub inside, or well, switch something, uh, and uh, it does what you'd expect. It plugs into your wall socket and gives you internet through that. So, if we move outside, we can see that I have my barn quite a respectable distance away from the house. That's about uh, 50, 50 meters or so, something like that, uh, maybe 40, between 30 and 50 meters, something, something of that order. And uh, my wireless AP. It has uh, no chance of reaching. It can just barely get to that window behind the boat there, but uh, anything beyond that, uh, you're, you're shot. And I don't want to have a, a PC sitting in the window, of course. Uh, so, to put it in perspective, uh, there's the wireless AP, the black box, a uh, dingy thing with internal antennas. So, uh, I gave the power line adapters a shot. Now, for these to work properly, you need to have them on the same phase as uh, uh, each other, and that wasn't uh, all too easily organized. So we have the barn on that fuse there on this third face, uh, and the that's basically only sharing a uh, sharing uh, uh, plugs with the oven, uh, the heat pump, and uh, the power outlets in the kitchen, and the second floor. So uh, I have installed one of these power line adapters all the way through all this mess in the office in the dark it's sitting uh, right there you can see the green light uh, going into a rather rotten horrible uh, main socket from the 50s no ground even and then into my ethernet switch on the wall there and from there is going through wiring all over the place and of course out through the fuse box which I assure you is not of high quality inside that's 50s wiring it's falling apart inside through uh, one of these wires uh, I believe the thin one there uh, it goes all the way over to that pole and then we have a wire going from the pole all the way over to the barn and in the barn if we just jog over there we have the other end of the system There we are, all wrapped up, and the power line adapter sitting right there in a dodgy extension cord with a bunch of switching power supplies connected to it and going into the uh, probably 60s, 70s wiring of a barn. And uh, not only does it work, uh, you can see we have internet right there, but if I grab a file of a server which is indoors, drag it to the desktop. We are actually maxing out the 100 megabit Ethernet switch in the adapter. Like, ah, uh, just about maxing out, it uh, depends slightly. But we're doing a good 80, 90 megabits depending on the mood. And I was genuinely amazed that we're pushing 100 megabits per second through that. All the way over there. That genuinely surprised me and I just had to share it. So uh, make sure you enjoy yourself and uh, clearly, if you do them right, 
these pack line adapters are not anywhere near as crap as they used to be, nor as out of focus as the house was. Cheerio.